I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is February 2nd, 2016, and recently I started jumping back into doing some Scala programming on the side. So I had to set up one of my Ubuntu boxes, uh, servers to handle some Scala code. So I put together this quick guide to install and set up uh, Java 1.8, Scala 2.11.7, and Scala build tool 0.13.9 on Ubuntu 14.04. Okay, first a few links. If you just want to get to the point, I made a quick script on gist, and here's the URL for it. So you can actually just go download this script and run it, and it should just work for you. So that's the easy, easy peasy part of it. Um, and I'll put this link in the show notes. Now, a few other links I want to put in the show notes is one, the download page for all the Scala programs. I mean, yeah, because uh, this will change through the years, so I imagine I'll probably re-reference this again when they're two, two, one or something. But I just want to here's the download page for all the Scala builds. Um, and then here's the download page for the Scala build tool, and I'll put all those in the show notes. So with that, let's just get cracking and get Java installed on this box over here. So I'll use some of my little cheat sheet notes on over here. So just to show you, I don't have Java installed. Java version, nothing. Um, so the first thing you want to do is I want to install Java Oracle 8. And so to do that, um, here's a method I found and figured out that works pretty well and avoids the problem of having to, um, if you set it up correctly and then you use sudo app.get to install it and you don't do this one thing first, it'll ask you to, it'll interact with you. So it'll want you to approve, um, it'll, you know, approve the, um, What's it called? Basically, make sure you've read the documentation that you approve of it so that you're accepting the license. There we go. So, what you to do to avoid that, ah, that's going to look hideous. Let me clear that out. So, what you want to do, I um, guess I'll do this on two lines. So, you echo this out. And then you want to pipe that into this guy. And you want to run it with sudo. And so that should automatically accept your license because it's looking for that. So run that. That's the important thing. And then you have to actually, you can't get it just through app.get. So you actually have to tweak a few things. And so here's what I run. And again, this is in the gist. So you can go get the gist and get all this stuff. Easy peasy. Um, Okay. So you got that, and pipe that into there we go. So then we have to go grab a key. So this fits on one line. My there we go. Uh, and you go grab this key. And that loads up just fine, life is good. And then now you can do sudo app dash get need to update. So that might take a little bit. I don't know the last time I updated this server, so but we'll let that run real quick, get that done. Okay, that went pretty quick. So now we need to actually install the Oracle, the Java Oracle. Oracle Java 8 installer. And now we've already, we want to accept the license because we're automatically, we are auto accepting it because we set up that, that, that yeah, set up that file. So now if you just run this guy, that should install Oracle 8, which will take a little time because actually I actually have to download the whole thing and that's kind of a beast. Okay, there we go, finally. So let me check Java version and see what we have. Good, we got it all set up just fine. So, let me clear that real quick. Now on to the next thing. Let's 
to get Scala installed. There's probably a few other ways to do this. Like I think you can actually, you know, get the you can do it via app.get and all those things and get some packages set up, but I just kinda prefer just kind of do it by hand. So what I've done before is I've actually gone to their download page and actually have the link to the version I want. So I'm just downloading it directly. So just grab it. You gotta wait for it to download. And then just untar it. Boom, we got all the files now. So I want to, let's see, make a directory. And user lib scala. So I make that directory. And then I want to move this over there just in case I want to keep uh, more versions of it in the future. So I'll just grab this whole directory and move it to that directory. So I have it all there. And then we actually want to make an executable link. So I'll just do a quick touch at user bin Scala. And then do a link. Sim link. User lib Scala. And then there's the folder. And then bin, let's see, bin Scala. There we go. And then user bin Scala. So now we should have a link to it. And oh, I need to also set up a Scala compiler just in case. So sudo touch user user then Scala C. And we should do the same thing as that, just add a C onto the end. All right? Seems right. Okay, so let me test that. So I do Scala dash version. What did I just do? Mess up something. Scala C dash version. Okay, mess something up. Project two. Oh, there's my problem. I didn't do my sim links right. I kind of left uh, the S off. Like an idiot. There we go. So now, let me do that. Now that should work, right? There we go. So yeah, dash fs, not dash f, when making your sim link. And check Scala C. Okay, so Scala is set up. Now I need to set up the uh, Scala build tool. And again, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to just grab and download the whole thing. And this is a link I got from their page again. If I could copy and paste. Okay, copy. There we go. Pull that down, which is a lot quicker. Um, and then untar it. Okay, and then do the same similar thing, you know, make a directory and a user lib SVT, because I may have multiple ones of these in the future. Uh, SVT. Oh yeah, this is a name directory, so I have to name it myself. T and SVT dash zero dash thirteen dash nine. There we go. And then sudo touch. User bin SPT. And then make a symbolic link with dash FS this time. User lib SPT. Uh, SPT today. Bin SPT. User bin SPT. There we go. Now, here's the fun thing. Now, if you start, if you, when the first time you kick off SBT, even if you're doing dash version, it's going to download a bunch of stuff. So, you probably want to do that. And in fact, my script does that. It'll check the version at the end. Um, which not only checks the version, but it'll actually download all the jar files you need for SBT, the default jar files. So, that's going to take a while. So, I'll let it, I'll let it run. So, there we are. We have 0 0.3.9. And so, 
I want to say that's it, but it's not quite it because I still need to download the jar files. Once we download the jar files, you're good to go. There it goes. It takes forever just to even start downloading the first one for some reason, which is a little annoying. But I'll let it go through and download all the rest of these guys. Finally, okay, so now we got all that done. So now, just to double check, now everything should be set up now. So now if I do Java version, uh, Scala version, and SPT version, should be good. So there's the Scala, yeah, there's the Java 1.8, the Scala. Something like that. Oh, there's a, <laughs> how about you do a semicolon there? There we go. So we got Java 1.8, Scala 1, 2.11, and SBT, oh, SBT version, and SBT, do not want to list it. Anyway, let me go check that again. Nope, you know, how do you look this up? Well, I guess that's been deprecated in the new version or something, but I'm not, I need to learn a lot more about SPT, the Scala build tool. I haven't done a whole lot into it. But to get the right version, you do SPT, SPT version. That will return the version, the current version, supposedly. There you go, 0 0.13.9. So there you have it. So that's how you, that's one way to install Java 1.8, uh, Scala 2.11.7. And Scott SBT 0139 on Ubuntu 14.04. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.